channel. In this video, we will have a discussion on the weekly transit results starting from the June 27th till the July 3rd. So now friends, week will start with a very good note with Moon being conjunct with Mercury, Venus being exalted in the Taurus sign and is going to be ending the week in the uh, Leo sign on July 3rd. Now friends, uh, the only one major transit which is going to be taking place this week is of the shift in the planetary Mars's position because Mars will enter the sign of Aries. It is going to get conjunct with Rahu which is going to give rise to the Angarak Yoga. So friends, I have already uploaded an exclusive video uh, for this transit customized results for all the rising signs and it's my humble request that you should watch that video so that you can plan your life or protect yourself accordingly because this is going to be a very amplified burst outburst of energy trust me friends even in my own case as well like uh, right at the time when moon was transiting in the Pisces couple of days back and Mars was conjunct over there in the transit this is my rising sign in the 12th house and that was the same time I had this kind of an incident where my finger got very badly injured now I always say the same thing being aware of all these uh, transit energies and following the precautions many times something big or bad was meant to happen but you escape with a bargained injury or bargained cost like I still remember last time when I was injured in a similar fashion that was during one skiing experience and that time also moon was transiting from my 12th house and like when certain yogas get formed and everything gets aligned with your ongoing dashas as well so visit to hospital is something which you cannot avoid but yes friends doing these uh, chanting mantra japa and being aware actually help you at least escape either escape completely or escape with a bargain cost so okay friends now let's uh, start our discussion so i will be explaining the results uh, customized to all the rising signs not the moon sign but the uh, rising signs and also friends this is going to be a probable indicative results if you are in that crossroad that you have to take some important step you have to blend it with your ongoing dashas and the yogas which you have in your chart so okay friends now starting first with the Aries rising people so now friends in your case uh, moon is going to be starting its journey from your second house and it is going to be ending the week in your fifth house so friends definitely for all those people who are connected with the fields of like you are a banker you are connected with a, any financial field or anything to do with art entertainment creativity this week can prove to be very fruitful very favorable for you also friends like when we talk about spending your money uh, on your family members or uh, buying something which is very auspicious very happiness giving uh, either for you or for your family so all those purchases can also be done during this week but now friends when we talk about specifically from the perspective of your behavior your personality your interpersonal relationship so over there you have to remain a little bit cautious because friends the moment Mars is going to enter your first house and just because it is your ascendant lord as well so the burst of energy is going to be very strong like some people can also feel little bit of the traces of the headache or impulsiveness aggression uh, high burst of energy so if you can manage that if you can control that then it is fine otherwise I would say that do the remedies recite Hanuman Chalisa and if you have that surplus energy go for gym go for long walks do some running hiking but channelize your energy and give it a right direction also friends like when we talk about from the professional aspect so there could be all those circumstances where you were hoping a lot and suddenly things will not come out as per your expectation so suddenly everything was climbing high and you will start getting this feeling that now things are taking a retro mode or things are trying to are coming or pulling down so this is how things can happen at your work front or at your professional front now friends for all those people who have their own business who are self-employed so for these people the the flow of the money will keep on happening it is going to stay intact so for the business professional i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable even for anything to do with the buying of property real estate or investing in the real estate the week's energy does not seem to be very auspicious because suddenly your ascendant lord is going to be entering your first house it is going to be expecting your fourth house and then flints of rahu so this is kind of a making a very turbulent energy so any sudden impulsive decision making needs to 
to be avoided even for the students i would say the time seems to be or the week seems to be little bit mediocre it's a average energy so if you have to appear in any important exam you have to make some important choices regarding your college regarding your subjects be it in school or in college so you have to work hard you have to remain very cautious very alert look for the expert opinion advice of people who are close to you who have got some expertise in those subjects in those field and friends even for the matrimonial perspective as well this entry of mars in your first house and its aspect in your 7th uh, house can actually create a environment of stress or power struggle within your relationship as well so now friends if i were to summarize this week's energy for all the aries rising people so for the uh, business uh, professional for the self employed people the week's energy seems to be average or more than average the flow of money will keep on happening the money will also be spent on the family members on the near and dear people even from that perspective from the enjoyment perspective giving attention to your hobbies and your recreational side of the life the week's energy seems to be very positive very much in favor but when we talk about from your personality perspective your relationship with your spouse or some sort of concrete development if you are hoping for that at your professional front for the service professional you are in a corporate job you are in a multinational job so over there keep your expectation your morale high because things might take a kind of a slightly downward slope during this week moving at friends now for all the taurus rising people so now friends in your case moon is going to be starting its journey from your first house and it is going to be ending the week right over there in your fourth house So now definitely friends the week's energy seems to be very much favorable in all areas of your life whether we talk about taking some important right set of decision in your professional front whether we talk about fine use of your finances spending quality time with your family with your friends with your loved ones even from the perspective of dealing in any sort of real estate or property related matters as well the week's energy seems to be very much favorable now friends the only vulnerability is that your confidence is going to be all time high and that might not go along well with your bosses uh, at the uh, workplace i would say so trust me have faith in your own uh, conviction in your own values in your own approach and attitude and i am very much sure that all of your competitors will get defeated during this week your bosses will be able to understand your point of view the only thing is that friends the entry of mars in your 12th house and its conjunction with rahu so the week might turn out to be little bit extravagant and regarding the matters of dealing with any sharp edge tools or while uh, driving and everything you have to remain very cautious you have to remain very alert moving at friends now for all the gemini rising people so now friends in your case moon is going to be starting its journey from your 12th house and it's going to be ending the week in your 3rd house so now friends one thing which i want to say over here is that you have to increase your efforts your uh, potential and your capacity is much more higher than you give yourself credit for so work harder during this week the tendency is going to be very high that you might fall prey to some sudden impulsive reckless decision during this week so refrain from any impulsive any sudden burst of decision making during this week one more thing is that friends like in your case uh, because uh, your 10th house is in a very strong dignity so i would say that whatsoever problem or concerns you are going through your authority figures or the bosses or people at the work front will prove to be very helpful very supporting towards you so i would say try not to shoulder all the responsibility all alone in your shoulder the more you can delegate you can reach out to people trust me the better we will be able to perform because of the support of other people also friends for all those people who are freelance self employed people the week's energy seems to be very much in your favor for the students the week energy is positive and even for all those people who are uh, looking forward to some matrimonial alliances and all of that the week's energy seems to be either in favor or it's kind of a mediocre energy so if you are putting your best foot forward chances are going to be high that 
some uh, prospective uh, match or proposal might come to you so overall friends if i were to say just control your whims your impulse while taking any important decision your bosses people at your work front will prove to be very helpful and for people connected with the fields of sales media marketing the week's energy seems to be very much favorable Moving ahead friends, now for all the Cancer Rising people. So now friends, in your case, uh, Moon will start its journey from your 11th house and will end the week right over there in your 2nd house. So now friends, uh, the week's energy is kind of little bit conducive of some sort of misunderstanding or conflict within your family front, like within the family, even at the work front as well. See friends, I will be very honest with you guys. The week is very positive for the enhancement of the reputation perspective as well, like being considered for a new role, even from the student's perspective or people who are about to appear in any important competitive exam, the week's energy seems to be very much in your favor. The only thing over here is that friends, just because there is a too much of the turbulent energy which is going in the matters of your 10th house. So even if you will be offered a new job, a new role or something, so try not to uh, accept anything very impulsively or without looking at the pros and cons of that. Like if I were to say that if you can postpone it at least till the time Saturn is not uh, going to be entering in your like seventh house which is going to take place around close to 13th of July. So that is going to be the time when Saturn would have retrograded back to your 7th house. So that could be a time when you can give your final nod. But right now the alignment is actually getting formed in a way that there is too much of the energy which is going in the matters of your professional sphere. As I have been saying this thing repeatedly for all the Cancer Lagna people that whatsoever churning up is taking place right now that is taking place ultimately and eventually for your good only. It's just like that driven by any whims, any impulse or sudden lucrative opportunity driven by greed or something. So try not to be in this mode that you are going to give your nod or you're going to resign from one job or just you know uh, wait for another joining or something like that so there's too much of the development which is taking place at your work front which eventually will happen for your good but if you have to give your final nod you have to uh, join something you have to sign something regarding your important professional development i would say if uh, postponing it till uh, July 12th is possible, is feasible. So consider that. And also friends, for the students as well, the week's energy seems to be very much in uh, favor for you guys. For all those people who are looking forward to some sort of matrimonial alliances, so uh, the proposal will keep on coming to you, even for the uh, like people who have their own businesses or for all these self-employed people as well, the week's energy seems to be very much in your favor, like networking, socializing, uh, coming in contact, with some uh, one very influential so from all of those perspective the week's energy seems to be very much favorable for all the cancer lagna people moving ahead friends now for all the leo rising people so now friends in your case a uh, moon is going to be starting its journey from your 10th house and it's going to be ending the week right over there in your first house so now friends the week's energy seems to be very much favorable pertaining to the matters of the fourth house and the 10th house like enhancement of your reputation, whatsoever project you are handling right now. You might be able to uh, do that very successfully, uh, might be considered for some new designation, some new role. So the work front energy is very much in your favor. Even for all those people who want to deal in any sort of property, buying and selling. So the week is very much favorable regarding those areas of life as well. The only vulnerability is that friends, the matters of the seventh house. So like I would say that if you're already in a relationship, so there could be some stark difference of opinion or argument which could take place with your life partner. The second thing is that if you're in any sort of partnership business or you have to sign any contract, any agreement, so look at all the pros and cons very carefully. The week is very much favorable for the students, for all the artists or all those people who are about to appear in any sort of competitive exam. And also friends, like even from the uh, networking perspective as well, the week seems to be very much in your favor, like the enhancement of the reputation, coming in contact with prominent people. So this is how the week will unfold for all the Leo rising people. 
Moving ahead, friends. Now for all the uh, Virgo rising people. So now, friends, in your case, uh, Moon will start its journey from your uh, ninth house and will end the week right over there in your twelfth house. So now, friends, over here, if you will see that the week's energy is very favorable, specifically from the luck's perspective. Because of the support of the luck, there could be some very lucrative opportunity which might come to you. Also, uh, if you actually want to initiate something, so the week is very favorable for that as well. Initiating some project, work, start working on some new ideas and new projects and all of that. So week is favorable for that as well. Like even for all those people who are single looking forward to any matrimonial alliances. So the week might actually land you or make you reach the right person even from the students perspective as well i'm actually looking forward to some very good results which can be anticipated in this week friends only thing is that when we talk from the perspective of the investments and all of that so over there you have to remain a little bit careful second thing is that just because uh mars is going to enter your eighth house and it is going to get conjunct with rahu so you have to remain very careful while driving and specifically the you know the lower body part if there is any vulnerability over there and you are also falling prey because of some uh, antar dasha or pratyantar dasha or mahadasha of a markish planet or of a vulnerable weak planet then it can actually make you more probable towards some sort of injury some sort of accidents and all of that so give heightened attention but again friends from the material gain perspective uh, getting right set of support from the authority figure from your bosses some important work related travel change in residence which will prove to be in your favor so the week's energy overall seems to be working a lot in favor for all the virgo rising people moving at friends now for all the liberal rising people so now friends in your case moon will start its journey from your eighth house and will end the week right over there in your 11th house so now friends the week seems to be kind of creating intermittent obstacles or at last moment things might not go as per your plans conflicts at work front so now friends overall see i do not want to give this news at the you know on sunday morning to all of you guys but it's just like that when you watch these kind of videos let's say for example if you have got good yogas in your chart your dashas are also running off strong planets then you do not have to worry about anything whenever you watch these kind of videos just try to keep that as a precautionary measure friends i am a very optimistic person trust me if i am saying something then it means that the yoga must be very strong in transit so just like that friends try to remain very cautious like for any important uh, project or aspiration of yours if things are not gonna be turning out as per your plans now this is just a immediate transit impact it's not gonna have a long lasting or very monthly or weekly energy it just that in these couple of days you have to remain little bit practical because otherwise conflicts at work delays frustration obstacle might actually come hard on you that's one thing second thing is that friends for all those people who are like uh, undergoing their school and high school and all of that so from the students perspective the week can still seems to be little bit in your favor like for all those people who are looking out for any sort of matrimonial alliances so just because mars is going to enter your seventh house it is going to get conjunct with rahu so suddenly it can create a yoga that suddenly some proposal come to you and the family is also in a kind of in a very fast paced want to finalize things so that is how things can develop at your matrimonial front but also friends because uh, mars in your case has got the rulership of your second house as well so suddenly there might be all those urge where people close to you near and dear to you they might be in sudden need of money or something or you might have to loan your money to someone or try to help financially uh, someone who is very close or near and dear to you so this is how energy is getting generated this week for all the libra rising people moving at friends now for all the scorpio rising people so now friends in your case moon will start its journey from your 7th house and will end the week in your 10th house so now friends when we talk about from the matrimonial alliances perspective the week will start on a very good note like i will not be surprised that suddenly if some proposal will come to you or some uh, close family member of yours 
might try to connect you or play the role of a matchmaker so from the matrimonial lances perspective the week's energy seems to be a lot in your favor also friends when we talk about from the commercial and the business gain perspective the week's energy is in favor the only thing is that rather than just doing hard work it will be more advisable to reach out to other people's support so like making use of your discriminatory intelligence because friends a moon is also going to be making a foray from your eighth house uh, this week as well and because your ascendant lord is going to enter your uh, sixth house so your fighting spirit your uh, discriminatory intelligence is something which can help you uh, progress in any given conflicting situation rather than just resorting to the hard work make use of your intelligence and reach out to other people's support also friends because uh, saturn is going to be uh, like very soon going to start the retrograde journey from your fourth house as well so for any buying and selling or any dealings in the real estate or in the matters of property and all of that so over there you have to remain little bit cautious and also friends like when we talk about uh, the kind of you know uh, because from your ninth house moon is going to be making its journey and because of the contribution which is coming from the saturn and the sun there could be some stark uh, debate or argument which could take place either this could be with your father or this could be uh, like specifically if you are a student and all of that so you have to be very cautious regarding your dealings with your uh, teachers with your mentors and all of that so regarding the matters of the ninth house there could be some sudden frustration or some sudden a uh, matter of concern or worry but apart from that friends like the way i have already mentioned this thing good week for uh, commercial success uh, with the due support of people around you and also for the matrimonial alliances perspective as well the week's energy seems to be a lot in your favor very soon friends your ascendant lord is going to uh, enter your sixth house and it is definitely going to put you in a position of power but during this week try to slowly gradually build up your base rather than uh, going head on in any conflict moving at friends now for all the sagittarius rising people so now friends in your case uh, moon will start its journey from your 6th house and will end the week right over there in your 9th house so now friends uh, when we talk about from the perspective of spending your time or your money on important family matters like all those things which is going to bring happiness uh, in the family life and the family matters the week's energy seems to be a lot in your favor also this week could give you some work related travel as well now friends when we talk about specific from the perspective of the 6th house because moon will start its journey from your 6th house where mercury and venus are also conjunct over there so let's say for example you have applied for a loan and you are awaiting for that loan application to get approved and you want to put that money in your business or you want to initiate anything new experiment with something new at your business front the week's energy seems to be a lot in your favor there could be some intermittent uh, obstacle or break in the continuous flow of the money but you will be able to manage that with complete uh, perfection with complete efficiency also friends just because uh, mars is going to get conjunct with rahu right over there in your fifth house so anger is something which could bother you during this week like specifically there could be some conflicting energy when you have to deal with your children even from the students perspective or all those people who have to appear in any important competitive exam this week could give rise to some sudden haste and impulse and because of some uh, quickness or agility or uh, hastiness you might forgot to sign somewhere you might forgot to carry some important document to the examination center so over there you have to remain very cautious all the students have to remain very cautious if you have to appear in any important exam during this week also friends the week's energy seems to be a lot in favor for uh, like any dealing pertaining to the matters of the property like buying and selling or even if you are working as a full time realtor so the week's energy seems to be a lot in favor there could be intermittent uh, i have already mentioned this thing there could be some intermittent uh, break in the continuous flow of the money but because of the support of the luck which is supporting you during this week you will be able to manage everything with complete efficiency moving at friends now for all the capricorn rising people so now friends in your case moon will start its journey from your 5th house 
and will end the week right over there in your 8th house. So now friends, the week seems to be very much favorable for the enhancement of the reputation perspective. Regarding the matters at the work front, there could be some positive concrete development over there. Now also friends, regarding the matters of the 5th house as well, like for the student's perspective, like your mental faculties are going to be so strong that you will be able to take some very important concrete decision during this week. Now friends, but when we talk about from the family life perspective, Perspective because the sudden uh, entry of uh, Mars and its conjunction with Rahu in your fourth house that can actually give rise to some sort of conflicting energies in the matters of your family life like some sort of conflict some sort of heated argument that can also take place so over there like whether in the form of dealing any important sensitive family matters or let's say for example you're planning to invest in any real estate or going out to buy a property or finalize a property or something so at least for this week try to give it a rest like i'm very much sure that you know that the way things are going to be developing the sudden stock development which is going to be taking place but advisable is this only that during this week it is better to postpone those important matters of the real estate but apart from that friends from the uh, support of your partner's perspective within the matrimonial life enhancement of reputation for all the artists and creative people for all the students perspective the week's energy seems to be a lot in the favor for all the capricorn rising people Moving ahead friends, now for all the Aquarius rising people. So now friends, in your case, a moon will start its journey from your 4th house and will end the week right over there in your 7th house. So definitely friends, pertaining to the matters of buying any property or dealing in real estate or the matters of the family life or domestic happiness, the week's energy seems to be a lot in the favor. Like I would also say that whether you are a student, you work in any artistic, any creative field, you work in the department of the product development, you have your own business or rather I would also say that for all those people who have been single for a long time so regarding the matrimonial alliances perspective as well in even in the commercial gain perspective the week's energy seems to be a lot in the favor for all the Aquarius rising people the only vulnerability is that friends just because Mars is going to enter your third house so for all the service professional there could be sudden vacillation in your decision making and also friends I will be very honest with you guys it is also creating an energy of stark argument with someone close to you or even with some of your colleague or with your sibling so there could be those possibilities that there could be argument there could be deception or betrayal so over there pertaining to the matters of the third house you have to be very cautious and let's say for example if you are a performing artist you work with your own hands or something so trust me the burst of energy can be utilized to your advantage during this time once Mars is going to enter and get conjunct with Rahu right over there in your third house. But overall friends, apart from the energy of the uh, vulnerable and probable energy of the betrayal and argument which could arise from the third house, in all other areas of the life, the week seems to be working or coming out a lot in the favor for all the Aquarius rising people. And last friends, for all the Pisces rising people. So now friends, in your case, uh, Moon will start its journey from your third house and will end the week right over there in your sixth house. So now friends, the overall alignment is working a lot in the favor for all the Pisces rising during this week, specifically the matters pertaining to the third house. When we talk about short journeys, getting the right set of support and deriving happiness because of the support of your friends, of your siblings, of your colleagues, and also friends like for any dealing of property, real estate, running into a right set of partner or good matrimonial alliances coming your way even from the students perspective as well the week's energy seems to be favorable like if you have to make any important decision regarding your school regarding your college you have to appear in any competitive exam the week's energy will definitely favor you the only thing is that friends because mars is going to enter your second house and it's going to get conjunct with rahu so your speech your eating habits and most importantly any sudden impulsive financial decision or investment or signing up needs to be done with proper caution with proper care so this is something friends which i wanted to say as a part of my general inputs for this uh, weekly transit starting from the june 27th till july 3rd for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook